perhaps daunted by Gutfeld's superior ratings, I hate to say this, but he's got them, <laughs> liberal late-night hosts putting aside attempts at being funny last night, teaming up to demand action on climate change. <laughs> Eight late shows, including this one, are doing climate-themed nights, okay? Crisis solved. <laughs> You're welcome. This is how bad climate change is getting. Wildfires in the West, floods in the East, freezing cold in Texas. Billy Joel is going to have to write an update for 2021 and call it, actually, we did start the fire. The pandemic, uh, systemic racism, income inequality, immigration, gun violence. But here's the thing, if we don't address climate change, none of those issues will matter at all. Thanks to climate change, we're looking at a future of no sex and tons of violence. I, I didn't get that one at all. Who do you think they're trying to convince? Uh, I think they're, they're trying to convince their, their uh, I guess, Hollywood. Yeah, that they're advertisers. They're, they're, yeah, they're advertisers, so they don't lose their jobs. When you look at that picture of them all together, it, if you show that, can you show that? It looks, they look like a class of Disneyland live performers about to do a live play on planet Earth, right? They're like, it's like a child's TV show that, that is like insanely nauseating. They've replaced comedy with tragedy. I mean, Kimmel... Talking about who wants to go? Who wants right before they're going to bed listen to, to listen to people lecturing and hectoring them about how the world's going to end? This is really like a cult. They've replaced George Carlin with George Soros. <laughs> uh, but put that picture back. I want. Uh, are you jealous that you're not in that picture? I no. am oh so God, no. relieved. Where would I? You be could be in that stand picture? right in front of. The, I would hide uh, behind the, the solar the panel. The solar panel, right? Yes. Or was that, you was that could solar hug the panel made by Uyghurs in China? Probably. Yes, it was probably, it was probably <laughs> yeah. made in China. It so probably it was. And yet, Katie, you can't deny that the world is hotter and drier than it has been. The people are hotter. Okay, the world has also been hotter and drier before human beings existed on the planet. We've had very hot parts of the Earth. We've had oceans over places like Arizona, where I'm from, where you can find seashell fossils at the top of the Grand Canyon. So, yes, the climate does change, whether you can take billions of dollars and throw it into some climate Paris Accord and change the temperature of the earth is, I think, a very arrogant proposition. Um, but, you know, Greg, I just love to be terrified about how I'm going to die right before I go to bed. Exactly. Like, nightmares <laughs> of drowning are everything <laughs> to, to that point. I want. Yes. But maybe they should do something that actually matters. Like, I don't know, walk around New York City and pick up masks that people have thrown away. You know, I saw that video from the Grand Teton National Park, and there's a grizzly bear walking around with a mask in his mouth. <laughs> so you know what? Maybe that was a fake real. bear. You missed it. <laughs> that that bear. was a fake bear. That was a fake bear. <laughs> just eat, eat. The hiker was inside. <laughs> but isn't it, I, it, we have seen uh, climate change go from speculation, Dana, to uh, absolute fact in the minds of people based on their politics rather than their science. I find that alarming. Well, I, I do think that in some ways they're preaching to people who already believe and um, what they believe. But I think one of the frustrating things is that you actually don't talk about real solutions. And one of those things would be like, you know, if it, it, it takes... Uh, the carbon footprint of one hour of television is more than two residential families. Mm. Right? So there's these trade-offs and backs and forth, and there are great innovations that are happening right now. Great stuff on battery technology, really good stuff on carbon capture, things like that. That kind of innovation is what's going to help solve this problem, not telling people basically to not do anything. And nuclear. then these oh, nuclear and geo, uh, what's the other one? Geo uh, geothermal. No, fusion, fusion, oh, not fusion, fusion, GPS. But there's a lot of innovation, and that's what will actually help solve it. And when you see comedians, do you think that, or do you think performers, do you think show business personalities, can they move the needle? Well, they used to. Carson used to get nine million a night. Leno went to six. I well, think that's not the needle I meant. Colbert I meant was only getting what two million a night now. So they're not influential. Also, they because watch it. they're too partisan. Those old guys, they weren't that partisan, and people were influenced by them. Remember, they used to have the telethon, Geraldo. Yeah. And they used to raise I, I was tons the, of dough. Of, of course you were all them. Of course they were. Probably your one more thing. Jerry Lewis. <laughs> but they used to actually put pictures up of, I don't Muscular know. Muscular dystrophy. You don't famine, remember the telephone? starvation, earthquakes. And it used to bring tears to people's eyes. They'd pick up the phone and donate. Is climate change that type of immediate threat? What's a wave going to go over the dune in Nantucket and get Teresa Hines Carey yeah. estate a little damp? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There's real stuff like fentanyl and, I don't know, pandemics. China. Crime China gen that we just talked about in the last segment. They'd be better served doing something about that. How can you talk climate change without talking China? Excuse me? No, I was just saying it's just a lot of virtue signaling from people who virtue don't live signaling. the way that they preach. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it 
anywhere else.